Możecie podejść? Zauważyłam coś interesującego. Zobaczcie, jakaś silna redukcja szerokości przyrostów. Jak y, szukaliśmy stanowisk na Babiej Górze, widzieliśmy takie. Zgadza się. Widzieliśmy je w wielu miejscach. W ogóle szukanie stanowisk to była fajna przygoda. Dokładnie, ale pamiętacie, jak musieliśmy wstać przed wschodem słońca, żeby wejść na szczyt? Opłaciło się, bo znaleźliśmy bardzo dobre stanowiska. We are in Babia Gura National Park when we will organize 26 European Dendrological Field Week next September and now we are searching for suitable places for five topics uh, which will be uh, realized here. One of them related to wood anatomy, one to dendroecology, two topics related to climate reconstruction and one which probably won't be done here uh, related to dendroarchaeology. Most of us are interested in or even fascinated by the past. We can learn about uh, history by reading books, old documents and archives. But there is a special way to do it. It's called dendrochronology. It's deciphering past from trees and especially from tree rings. Field Week is a course open for everybody interested in dendrochronology. Year by year, students have an opportunity to learn how to conduct a high-quality training research. But how did this begin a quarter of a century ago? Well, I was a teacher at the University of Basel and we had ecological field week and then I realized, oh, when we want to uh, study dynamics, of the, the dynamic of vegetation, then we must know something about time. And the time was stored in the tree rings. And then first I made several weeks with uh, students from University of Basel and then once Dieter Eckstein and Hal Fritz joined us and that was the beginning of the International Field Week. To był bardzo dobry pomysł, żeby tam pracować. Dzięki temu na jednej górze mieliśmy stanowiska, począwszy od regla dolnego, aż po piętro alpejskie. No i nie zapominajmy o skansenie w Zubrzycy, dla dendroarchologów. A gdzie indziej znaleźlibyśmy naturalny, dolnoreglowy las mieszany? 
ale najstarsze drzewa rosną przy górnej granicy lasu. Zobaczmy, jak ten las wygląda. The mountains outside the Tatra are so beautiful and also quite high. I was surprised about this. And um, that there are so large areas of uh, large areas covered with subalpine forest, relatively natural stands and very protected stands. So it's a really awesome place um, for doing dendroecology. Dendrochronology is a unique branch of science because it's truly, truly interdisciplinary. So one day you, so it, it, it transcends the fields of, we'll say, art history to paleoclimatology um, to contemporary ecology. And one day you might be out in the field cutting samples with a chainsaw, another day working in the lab with a microtome, and a, a, a third day talking with a climate modeler. Tree rings are and will probably always be a unique archive of past environmental information. So trees are widely distributed around the globe in many um, climatic zones and tree rings have the highest temporal resolution and um, dating accuracy of all natural archives. During this rather intensive week, students with the help of instructors explore all the steps of the research path, starting from the sampling in the field, through the lab analysis, up to the final presentation of the results. Field week, run by students for students. I, that was that was fantastic. You guys did a did a great job, and it was uh, I, I think it just provided also a very uh, wonderful atmosphere, and and it was really just a, an ideal setting, and and uh, it was it was fantastic. I think this was a very lively um, field week, and. People had fun to work together and the cultural interactions were great and this was, I think, mainly related to the atmosphere you local student organizers created. So I greatly appreciate this and um, you did a really great job. If we analyze annual rings in herbs, we must use microsections. And then we see that these little plants, one, two centimeter tall, they produce 30, 40 rings per millimeter. But they produce rings and we can count them and we can reconstruct their life history.
Field Week is not only about learning the practical skills. Instructors teach how to work efficiently in the lab, but also give lectures on several topics. In Zavoya we worked on five topics covering a wide variety of dendroecological fields. Five of us, under the supervision of Dr. Alan Crivellaro, studied the patterns of annual rings of the blueberries growing near the summit of Babiagura. Preparing the microscopic slides helped to identify the boundaries of rings and annual growth rate. The rings patterns appear to be similar among plants, therefore we could establish the chronology, which by the way is the first blueberries chronology in the Carpathians. Five students from Europe and South America under the supervision of Dr. Kerstin Treit investigated the climate signal recorded in Norway spruce from the site near the timberline. Since the local climate records are pretty short, we used the treeing proxy to reconstruct summer temperature for the last 160 years. Recent climate warming is clearly visible for both tree growth and climate data. Another student working with Dr. Richard Kaczka in the subalpine forest of Babiagura we're exploring the new procs related to the wood density and measured directly from the rings images. We prepared the 230 years long chronology ready to be employed for the climate reconstruction. Students under the supervision of Dr. David Frank worked in the natural mountain mixed forest, studying the differences between biomass production of natural and managed forests. We compared a biograd biomass increment for the 1980-2015 period. Since 1990s, the biomass production of natural forests had exceeded of such production in managed forests. Consequently, we proved that the natural forest on the Babiagura is more effective concerning the growth. Three students, together with Professor Tomasz Ważny, worked in Zubrzyca Górna, dating the main treasure of the ethnographic open-air museum, Moniaków Manor. Examining the wooden elements of the building, we provided the dates of the erecting the old and young parts of the house and also some of the repairs. We verified that Moniaków Manor was built at the beginning of 17th century and is one of the oldest buildings in the region. The biggest surprise for me doing dendro in Zavoya, I'd have to say, was that there were no big surprises. Oh, okay. I, I would say everything just went very, very smoothly. So great people, great weather, and I'd say that uh, a lot of that was just due to to you and the the other local organizers. So so just everything was was great. Avam coś najbardziej na filmiku podobało. Ja poznałam wielu fajnych ludzi. Ja nigdy nie wierciłem w tak wielkim buku. A ja się bardzo dużo nauczyłam. A tak w ogóle to świetna robota. 